Today we're going to go through a little bit of the rigging process of putting some Hummingbird Helix units flush mounted in the console of this bay boat. Uh, we're actually going to put two units in here and we are going to link them together along with our Altera trolling motor so we have the one boat network in this boat. You know, Humminbird was responsible for the most game-breaking technology and depth finders over the last 20 plus years and that's side imaging to so bottom fishing and saltwater. When we're out snapper and grouper fishing I can drive up to an artificial reef, a place I've never even been before, uh, and just getting somewhat close to a pile of culverts or rocks, I see them on my side imager, I can scroll over and mark them, and then using my trolling motor with spot lock, I can hold the boat directly on them. Uh, we need several different components. You need to have a uh, in-haul transducer, so we're going to go over a little bit about putting that in. You need to have a side imaging transducer. We're going to talk about where and how to put that and to get the best uh, response from it. Um, you need to have some Ethernet cables for each component. You need power cables. You need um, everything to run through an Ethernet box. This is kind of your brain. This is this is your hub, more. Or really, less. it's just a matter of running each component, doing it correctly, and getting everything hooked up in the units. And the units then are pretty pretty easy to uh, to go ahead and program and get communicating with each other. It's really, really simple. A couple things I found important and helpful. Um, tape everything off, you know, to the extreme. Uh, make sure you make sure you protect all your switches and controls around the helm and things because you're going to have a lot of dust from, from fiberglass, plexiglass and things uh, that's going to be flying everywhere. I grab a little shop vac, always with a brush on the end, and, and kind of clean up as I go. I found that to really help. Uh, and also, even the tape itself, I like using this, this kind of old school masking tape instead of the blue tape. The reason for that is I can see through this. And what I've done is I've actually taped this template on, which shows the full size of the graph, but my cut line is actually here, this dotted line, which is smaller. But this shows me the layout, the finished product layout, and I can see through the tape. Safety glasses, of course, are a must when you're cutting in fiberglass. It's time to kind of cross my fingers and cut some big holes in my brand new boat. So stand by. All right, so we've got both of our depth finders uh, flush mounted here in the console. Now it's just a matter of, of uh, using the flush mount uh, adapter that you get for hummingbirds uh, and hooking them up. By far the simplest and best flush mount out there from what I've found. This just hooks into, into the knobs on the side and the back of your unit, just like a regular gimbal mount, just like a standard mount, real heavy duty aluminum, which then comes in and bolts into this piece which kind of sandwiches back against the back of your console. So all that tension of all those two big heavy aluminum brackets pulling on each other with two simple screws and lock nuts uh, and everything just, just holds perfectly tight. Is by design, the more you crank them down and compress them, the more they flex and open up just slightly uh, to build even more pressure to hold the unit in and they also then grab a little more glass. When you first put these on, you're gonna notice you only got a little bit of glass on each side, most likely. Uh, and you may say to yourself, boy, I just, I don't know if that's enough. But what you'll find is as you push them down in, they're gonna open up slightly and they're really gonna hold well and you're gonna end up having, you know, a quarter to a half inch on each side, no problem. And it's super, super secure. All right, so for these, the, the hard part's over. Um, we've got everything already uh, in here, we've got these these awesome snug flush mounts just really, really pushed down good and tight so there's no chance anything's going anywhere. Of course, we don't have any wires or any uh, uh, transducers or anything hooked up yet, but that's all real accessible here for, for the next step. And then, and then that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull all the, all the wiring up in this compartment. We're going to Ethernet everything and make it all uh, communicate with each other. But the hard part's over. 